Welcome back to the Daddy Garage. Um, short little video. This is my dad's ZX9 he bought about, I don't know, about a month or so ago. <clears throat> I am fixing to pull the forks off of this to get them rebuilt. I just put a 08 or 09 2010, I don't know. I think it's 08 to 10 uh, ZX10 shock on this. Bolt up. We tried or we, not really we, I. I tried the um, 07, 06, 07 ZX10 shock. This hit the swing arm. So if you have a 94 through 97 ZX9, the 08 through 10 shock will work with a little bit of modification to the battery box. Um, it got it pretty cheap, but I just kind of wanted to make a short little video, let y'all know that I'm still here. Just don't really have nothing else to film. I'm sure there's probably 50,000 videos of somebody taking a forks, their forks off of Habuza, but I'm not going to film it all, although I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, I know what to do, but never done it before. I'm going to try to get those bolts down there without taking off a whole bunch of stuff is really what I'm going to try to do on both sides. It's going to be kind of difficult. Slide them out just so they're out and ready to go. But this thing kind of been a headache. I had to rebuild the fork, or not the forks, but the brakes. Um, they actually bled them, and they worked great until my dad brought it over here for me to work on it. And then uh, they locked up on them. So I brought them a 10, and we just put some, put some air in them so they can drive it here. Uh, I've replaced throttle cables so from, from Niche. They're on eBay. N-I-C-H-E. They're real cheap ones. Um, they actually work. They, they're for the ZX9 anyways. I mean, they're about perfect. Um, I've rebuilt the carburetors. I made this happen, although it's not right. Um, it works. It's better than what was on there. He had a full D&D system, and for some reason, the guy he bought it from chopped it right here and had some kind of old-school Kawasaki stock muffler on it, but it just it choked it down. I'm surprised it didn't blow the head gasket because of how much it choked it down. But it has a running it, well, it doesn't run, I have a running issue. It, um, it bogs on a little bit of gas, when you give a little bit of gas. I think it just needs bigger jets. Um, I think that's really about all it needs. And of course, new tires, those are old. But we have everything body panel wise, like this is missing, but it's over there, there's a tank. It's got the little panels uh, over there. So, nothing much has really been happening here. Um, this is the out the reason why I really didn't film any working on this because I mean most of my videos are on this platform You know the ZX7 and the ZX9. It's pretty much the same thing. So I didn't film it Because um, if you need any if you have any questions you just go back to old videos and see them This engine hoist is here because I recently Swapped the engine in my aunt's truck just a V6 You know for another V6 just the running and driving no like V8 swap or whatever that was a hassle. I didn't film that because, oh, that was just ridiculous. But, won't be doing no more engine swaps ever again on a, on a vehicle. So, um, it's hot in here. It's hot in Texas. It's hot. It's just freaking hot all the way around. Right now, 96. I had the door open with a fan blowing in, but it made the house hot, of course. So, and it got down to about 92. But, uh, that's that's really about it. Um, that black disc are I actually sold it. I think I posted the video on here. I'm not sure if y'all seen it or not. Um, but yeah, I got that sold. Oh, I did post it. Yeah, but I got it sold. Uh, I wanted to keep it, but bills came up and like they kind of always do every month. And I just got it out of here pretty quickly, actually, faster than I expected for fourteen hundred bucks, and I had a hundred dollars in it. So uh, I'm gonna get off here, get these forks off. So. Whenever I do go and rebuild them, they're done. And this is my Suzuki rebuild kit. So, usually I do like all balls racing, but this actually has everything. This, the seals, the bushings, the um, new lock washer deals. And I was like, you know what? 70 bucks, I'm gonna buy it. Mm, that's about it. We will talk to y'all later, bye.